Hi everyone, my name is Yaxi Zhao, a PhD student at the University of Toronto. On behalf of my co-authors Rasen Jaber, Donald McMillan, and Cosman Montiano, I'm presenting our research, Rewinding to the Jiggling Me Part, Understanding Voice Control of Instructional Videos in Everyday Tasks. When people learn physical tasks by watching and following online videos, such as cooking, voice interaction has been envisioned to facilitate task completion by allowing learners' hands to remain in the task while still navigating through the instructional videos. To follow a cooking instructional video, users often engage in non-linear navigational behaviors, often jumping back and forth to understand the content, check the status, control the pace, navigate to a given point of interest, and potentially search for additional information. Despite engineering advances in speech processing and in natural language understanding, navigating videos by voice still mimics the rudimentary controls of graphical user interfaces, with voice being largely used to play, pause, rewind, fast forward, and so on. But is this the best that we, as designers, can do to enable true hands-free multimedia navigation? And is this indeed everything that users need from voice assistants in such contexts? With these questions in mind, this study investigates user requirements for designing voice-based playback control for non-linear instructional videos found in cooking. We ask three research questions. 1. What are the contexts of user interactions with voice-based navigation in a natural environment, such as home-based cooking, following instructional videos? What types of voice-based navigation needs do users have for non-linear instructional videos in an ideal system? What are the challenges and opportunities for designing such voice control? We conducted a remote Wizard of Arts study with 10 participants, each to make Asian-style dumplings in which they followed a recipe video and navigated through it with voice commands. The dumpling videos were a representative example of instructional videos requiring complex navigation and thus suitable to explore the full extent of what users may need from voice-based navigation. A research moderator, the wizard, controlled the video playback for the participants. Participants' voice interactions with the navigational system are situated in technological and social contexts. They use small screen devices, have varied experience in VUIs, and some of them use multiple VUIs together. In a cooking at home environment, participants would talk with family members or talk aloud, where some phrases would overlap with the query keywords. While many voice commands were direct mappings of traditional time-based playback controls, we found that more than 10% of the voice commands involved in the actual content of the video. Participants prioritized content-based commands when switching tasks to offload the memory of time. Looking closer at the content-based commands, we identified five dimensions of query formulation. First, with only one concept in mind, participants' comments might result in a unique location in the video, multiple possible locations, or only exist in the visual demonstration but not in the audio. Second, participants would use the exact wording, synonyms of a keyword, or even just a related label to refer to a keyword. Third, participants could comment in a statement or in a question format. Instead of clearly containing navigational phrases, the questions might only imply it with what how format or proposing alternative answers which would result in confounding keywords. Further, participants might not request a single location in the video. Instead, they will use hybrid commands, such as asking for a loop of a session that was difficult to follow, requesting a location needed to be understood with the previous command. Further, users would issue compound commands to achieve two consecutive goals or just trying to provide as many keywords as possible, but the latter would take them a while to complete and might generate several confounding information. 
Lastly, participants will request to add customized markers that they can refer to later or set up a loop. Further, participants without much experience in cooking would prefer to have a conversational partner who can answer additional questions and provide quick information without jumping back and forth. We identify six types of challenges for design from this context and interactions. Users' intent when issuing complex comments was not always clear in how the video playback could react. Distinguishing comments from self-talk and curious for other view eyes could be challenging without weak words. Noises in a home kitchen such as TV music, could make comments undecipherable. Users unfamiliar with the task or the rules of a system issued comments slowly, making it difficult to know when a command is complete. Keyword-based processing could be insufficient when users provide confounding keywords. It was unclear if matching visuals to comments was a sufficient solution, although it seemed to be helpful. Therefore, we propose three design and research opportunities for advancing VUI, not simply to enumerate all possible user behaviors, but rather to predict and mitigate breakdowns. They are respond to external and internal contexts. Build a shared vocabulary with users to guide and to respond. And finally, take advantage of the visuals. Thank you for listening. Please visit our paper for more details. And our contact information is below.